Welcome to Ride with Alina. My name is Alina and I am so happy that you have chosen this 30 minute indoor cycling ride to perform today. We are gonna have a mix of sprints as well as climbs with a longer climb in the middle. I'm gonna be coaching resistance on a scale of one to 10, one being extremely light and 10 being extremely heavy. Adjust your gear throughout the ride to build your workout. In our sprints, we are gonna use a light to moderate gear and go for speed. And in our climbs, we are gonna use a heavier gear and go for strength and power. Make sure you have a water bottle, a sweat towel. Let's push ourselves throughout. Let's treat every set like it's the last and let's warm up. Take a shoulder roll right to the back. Perfect posture, brace the core and silt from the hip, hands in front. Give me an 87 RPM and add a gear of three out of 10. Just enough gear to the point where we feel in control of the bike and we're pushing against some resistance. Oh, this is gonna be a great journey. In our warm up, we're gonna get the blood flowing, circulating. We're gonna get the mind into the game, into the journey. And we are gonna do two accelerations to do just that. Both of which, will be 30 seconds in length. We're gonna take our hands wide, add a touch of gear, throw it on, four out of 10, hands wide, shift the hips forward, and let's speed it up, 126 RPM. Our first acceleration in the class. Rolling those legs, like gripping the handlebars, just proud, taking in the oxygen, 15 more seconds. Throughout the class, please maintain your core brace to stay nice and centered. Miles on, four, three, two, slow. Let's add a few turns, please. Five, to a six, to a base climb, seven. Keep the hands wide, we're gonna stand up. Hands to the ends of the handlebars, hop it up and out. Moving side to side but tap in the saddle behind us. I'm already a little bit out of breath. Woo. Warming up our climbing muscles. Throughout the class, again, sprints and climbs. It's a journey, it truly is. Let's take a seat. Start to try to roll it out. Take off the edge and reach 87 RPM. On a six out of 10, a little bit too heavy. So let's take off the edge again. Five out of 10. This is the gear we are going to be racing on, sprinting on. We have it in our feet. Let's use it for the final acceleration of the warm up. Four, three hands wide, hips forward. Let's go. Let's stay a while. See where this ride takes us. In our next track, we have a mix of some light climbs and some fast sprints. Our heart rate's up. We are ready for the work. All right, slow it down. Bring the gear up to a seven out of 10 where we just were when we practiced the stand climb. Hands are wide, 63 RPM. When you're ready, hop it up and out. When we're out of the saddle, I always want you to be moving side to side with enough resistance. But hop in the saddle behind us, hands to the ends of the handlebars. This is a regular stand climb position. In, 30 sec in 15 seconds, we have a 30 second seated sprint. Our first working effort. Start to speed up the legs. Take a seat, reduce your gear down to that five out of 10. Late to moderate, and pick it up. Different intensity than the warm up. Still 126 RPM, 
push and pull in the legs for a brace. We know the drill. 15 down, 15 to go. Intensity from the first effort. Effort one of four in this track. Slow. Perfect test of your race resistance if you slow to the beat. Add a turn. Four, two, seven out of ten. And bring it up. So in these climbs, they are our active recoveries. Getting ready for our next effort in the saddle. This one's 45 seconds. We're adding on a 15 second to the end. Are we ready for it? Are we ready for it? We know what it feels like. Start to speed up the legs. Take a seat, reduce. You know the year. Three, two, one, me and you. Don't let the music hold you back. Let it push you forward. Feel the rhythm, feel the energy. Lean forward, get serious. Knees up, push down, up and down. 15 more seconds, hands inside, arrow race. Bring them in, lean forward. Perfect position for speed. Get fast, aerodynamic. Three, two, slow. Hands in front, butt back. Let's take a seated build. Add on your seven out of 10. So what is a seven out of 10 feel like? It feels like there's enough resistance in our feet to the point where we really need to push through the heels, use the glutes and dig in a bit. It's a base climb, so nothing crazy, but we're still working. Hitting our 30 second effort once again. This time, take off the edge and give me a six out of 10, not a five, a little bit heavier than that. A moderate gear and pick it up, let's go. A little bit harder to hit 126, but we can still do it. If your legs are at least 100, please take off some gear and focus on your speed with control. Baby! Nothing I would rather be doing right here, right now. Three, two, slow. Add, add. Up, up. The gear pushes you side to side. If you're moving up and down, you need a bit more. If you can't quite hit the beat, take some off. Gear is very personal. We're going for that intense feeling in the chest, that breathless feeling in those efforts. Approaching the last one in this track before we hit some shoe climbs. So let's make the most of it. Start to speed it up. Six out of 10, just take the edge off and speed it up. It's not gonna come easy. I didn't say it was gonna come easy. But we're doing it together. And it's gonna be worth it. It's up to you. How fast. How much you're gonna push in this class. I'll give you the efforts. I'll push you. But it's up to you to put in the work. 15 more seconds. Arrow race, bring it in. Two seconds between you and the end of this track. Four, three, chin up, hold. Slow, grab some air, grab some water, butt back. Fine, 65 in the feet. Catch your breath, 
we're moving into our mountain climb journey. Add a seven at a time when you're ready. For 60 seconds, right here in the saddle. The beat's gonna drop and we'll have a true indication of where we should be in terms of pace. For now, just look down on your resistance. Monitor and look for 65 RPM. This is the track. We are gonna use some heavy gears and we are gonna climb up a steady mountain. It's around seven minutes. We're mixing it up with some seated climbs and stand climbs. So when you're ready, add on your eight out of 10 and take a stand. Something heavy, heaviest we've gone in this class. But hey, it's okay because the RPM is slow. So we can hit the beat with the heavy gear. We're gonna hit a stand attack up next. Bring the hands further back out wide, like the sprint, and shift the hips forward. Knees up. Stand attack. Core brace. Shoulders in line with hips. Using more quads. The front of the leg. Pulling up, pushing down, take a seat. Option here is to reduce the gear. Or just grind through it. I'm gonna take the edge off because it is a long seven minute climb. The music drops. Our intensity stays consistent. Bring the elbows in. I always want perfect form, riding technique, before we add gear, before we add pace. Form is always a prerequisite in my class and really in any workout, you try. Push through the glutes. Shift the weight back in the saddle to put yourself in a position of optimal climbing efficiency. Getting ready take a stand soon. So this time when we stand, I'm gonna ask you to accelerate on an eight out of 10 here. Just by a few RPM. For now, think about your feet, your legs trudging through mud. One pedal stroke at a time. Wheels right through that mud. Drop the shoulders down. Getting ready for the acceleration. Throw on your eight out of 10 if you took them off. Heavy climb resistance. And makes you wanna push. Four, three, up and out. And start to roll the legs. Accelerating through the mud. Shoes getting a little dirty. But hey, it's okay, we're here for it. Not always pretty. But hey, it's a lot of fun. Getting our heart rate up. But starting to drip. Give me 15 more seconds. Can you pick it up a little bit more? I know the legs are starting to fatigue. We're gonna slow it down to max 65. In five seconds. Three, two, slow. Stay right here. Keep the gear. Back to our steady. Street climb. Now team, up ahead, there's a crossroads. Something we weren't expecting on our mountain. We got a little decline, a little sprint. Sprint down the hill. There's a little dip that we couldn't see. So when we sit, I'm gonna ask you to reduce your gear to a five out of 10 and hit 125 RPM or faster with control. But for now, think into the stand climb. Heavy breathing. Take a seat. Reduce your gear and pick it up. Five out of 10, 125. 
Look down at the number. If you don't have numbers, look at the speed of my leg and match the speed of my legs. It's getting faster. Right down. A very steep decline. Move with the music. Close your eyes. Imagine. Straight down like a roller coaster. Like the descent. Getting ready to add, getting ready to add. Eight out of 10. Throw it on, throw it on. Slow it to 65 and bring it up. Out of the saddle. We did it. All the way down just to get right back up. One minute 30 left in this climb. How high can we go? Height in this track depends on resistance. Out of gear. Final 60 seconds. Intensity's on. We can see the summit of the mountain right up ahead. All you have to do is stick to the skier. Push up, pull down. Feel the intensity in your life. Feel it in your lungs. That's called life. That's called vitality. This is what we live for, this feeling. Whether you're training for some off-road biking or you're training for indoor biking, we're in it together. Slow, take a seat, reduce, edge off, seven out of 10. Give me 80 RPM, 60 seconds until the first effort. Take some air, then take some water. We're moving in to some attacks. Arguably, my favorite type of work. A moderate gear, fast pace. It's gonna get our heart rate up while burning up our legs, while fatiguing our legs. So shift the weight back in the saddle. Getting ready for our first of two 45 second efforts. Smiles on. Breathe in the positivity. Breathe out that negativity and doubt. There's no room for that here. Getting ready for our first stand attack. I think a climbing eight out of 10 resistance. We can do that. Throw it on. Slow the legs down. Kind of uncomfortable. Hands wide, hips forward, stand it up. Six to the beat. Driving the knees up like pistons. In our attack position, we can really isolate the front of our legs, our quads. Asking the most out of them with this heavy climbing resistance. You're welcome. 15 more seconds. If you could hold this gear and this pace for more than 45, you either are not keeping the pace or you don't have enough gear. These intervals are meant to gas us. Take a seat. Final 15 seconds in the saddle. Pull onto it, push and pull, hands wide. Five, four, three, pick up the edge. Hold on to the 80. Six, seven out of 10 in the feet. 30 seconds, build until the next effort. Hey, the next effort is what we just did, but flipped. Starting in the saddle for 15 and then hopping it back up for the final 30. For the final 30 in this track. Put on your gear. Hands wide, butt back. Start to push through the heels. Not quite at the eight out of 10. Approaching. Take a turn that makes you really want to stand. Stay seated, give me 
80. Pick, do the beat. Feels like it just got a bit faster. It might have. So don't mock my words for 80. I'm gonna double check the RPM at this point in the ride. And this song, it just switched up on us. Up and out. Final 30 seconds. I'm feeling like this is 90. I'm gonna double check. Either way, nothing changed this for us. We're still sticking to the beat. With that eight out of 10, gasping for air, overcoming the challenge. 15 more seconds. When the music dips, we stay in the work because we're powerful, we're strong, and we can push through. Slow it down, roll it out, hands to the ends. Heavy breathing, catch your breath. Four, take a seat, reduce, take off the edge. Give me seven out of 10, 75 RPM. This track is mean. Two climbs, 175 seconds, 160. Hands wide, it's faster than we want it to be. But that's the journey. One, two, one, two. Getting ready for a stand climb. Add your gear. Get ready to stand. Four, three, eight, on, up and out. 75, side to side. You and I. Let's have fun with this one. Let's get sweaty and put in some work. Add a gear. Just a touch. Nothing crazy. Getting ready for some four count jumps. On my count, we take a seat. Are we ready? Four, three, hands wide, butt back for four, three, two, up, four, three, two, sit, hands wide, three, two, up, hands to the end, three, two, stay right here. Yes. The first of two. Second last half of the class. Hold to the end. When I think, can't think of what to say, we just push, roll, take a seat, reduce. Seven out of ten. Take off the edge. Hands in front. Getting ready to do it again. This time, we start right away with, with the jumps. And then we move into a 30 second stand climb. This one's only 60 seconds. The last one was 75. When we take away 15 seconds, we can reach new heights, a new fitness level, but back, add your eight, and get ready to take a stand. Three, two, up, four, three, two, sit, four, two, stand, three, two, sit, three, two, back up, four, three, two, down, four, three, two, up. It sounds heavy. Is it heavy? Down, four, three, hold it up, out of gear, everyone. Not optional. We're here till the end of the track. 30 seconds. Finish the journey. That's my advice. 15. Up the volume. One team surpass the finish line. Slow. Amazing work. Absolutely amazing effort. All right, team, take a seat. And then take off that heavy gear. Bring it down to a three out of 10. And let's roll it out, hands in front, 87 RPM. Smiles on. And just breathe. Take the first 30 seconds to catch your breath. That's all we're focused on right now. 
is our breath, our breathing. In and out, controlling the breath. When we have our breath in control, move your attention to the legs. Nice and light, nice and easy. Still some work going on. So we can really lower the heart rate and flush out the legs. Let's take our hands wide and get ready for our first acceleration, just to flush it out. Up to 100 RPM, let's go. Once you're in control of your legs and your breath, let's start to think about what we just did for the past 30 minutes. Starting with those sprints, then moving into that really long seven minute climb, that mountain, and then finishing off with some attacks and another really fast climb. One word comes to mind for me, <laughs> what a journey. All right, let's push up three shoulder rolls to the back. Interlace your fingers, palms up to the sky and drop the shoulders down. Grab onto one wrist, pull it to the opposite side. Side body stretch. And switch. Lower it down. Next stretch, ear to shoulder. And switch, nice and quick. Next stretches, just releasing those muscles, releasing the tension. Tilt it down. Reduce the gear even more. Roll it out on 87. Our journey today is ending with some gratitude, some appreciation towards our bodies. A little introspection. Not everyone can do what we just did. Not everyone has the willpower. Take your hands wide, hips forward, and flush it out. What we just did really sets us apart. And no matter where you lie in terms of your fitness level, if this is your first cycling class or your 100th cycling class, hey, if this is your first workout or your 5,000th workout, it doesn't matter right now because right now we are in the here and now, we are in the present and we are thanking our bodies for the past 30 minutes journey on a bike that goes absolutely nowhere it has just taken us so 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 many places all right slow it down unclip on cage and I'll meet you at the side of the bike for some off bike stretches all right let's grab onto one foot or ankle for a quad stretch Bringing those knees close together, pushing the hips forward. Perfect form on the bike, perfect form off. And breathe. Heart rate should have cooled from that last track. And let's switch legs. Using the bike for some stability if you need. If not, no worries. Squeeze the glutes for a deeper stretch. And let's bring it to a figure four glute stretch, crossing that ankle across your opposite knee. Doesn't matter which side we're doing, as long as you switch. Ensuring our hips are in line with our knees and our knees are in line with our ankles. Flat back, chest up, nice and proud. Switch legs, opposite ankle, opposite knee, and back. You should really feel it within those hips, at the side of the legs, stretching out those glutes and hamstring stretch. Dig one heel into the floor, straighten the leg, pull the hips back and tilt from the hip to stretch the back of the leg. Those hamstring muscles. The hamstrings are made up of three muscles. Yes, it's a muscle group. And switch legs. Dig the heel, two points up, hips back and tilt. Keeping the back flat at all times. Have a moment to release the back. Up next. All right, hands onto your handlebars, feet hip width apart. 
think the weight back using the bike for support. I'm coming up onto it to be close. I have to start push away from the bike now and lower it down. Be surprised. Deep breath in, reach up to the sky, right up as high as you can. And exhale, bring your right arm up, bring it back and give yourself a pat on the back. Absolutely amazing work today. We just did that. We just completed that amazing 30 minute indoor cycling journey together. My name is Alina and this is Ride with Alina, my spin channel. I am so happy that you decided to do this workout. Wishing you an amazing rest of your day wherever it takes you and I will see you in the next ride.